thank you for calling Walmart customer support. How can I help you? I got I got a thing saying that somebody bought a PlayStation or some foolishness on my account. I, so first I, of all, oh, all right, okay. sir. Yes, okay. So first of all, did you receive any kind of reference ID number, any order yeah. number, along with the phone call, sir? Yeah, five eight five six seven 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 zero six five. All right, sir. So help me with your current zip code so I can pull out your details and let you know what it's all about. One what's your zip code, sir? One three one one eight. And what's your last name, sir? Lacio. L a t i o. Lacio. All right. And what's your first name, sir? Phil. P h i l. All right, Mr. Phil. Now just give me a moment. Let me pull out your details, okay, sir. Okay. Yeah. Hold a line for a moment. Okay. Thank you for holding a line, sir. Are right there? Yes, I'm here. What's your current zip code, sir? One three one one eight. Am I yes, right? Yes, you're right. And your last name is Lachio. L A T I O. That's Am right. Am I right, sir? Yes. And your first name is Phil. P H I L. Am I right? Right. Phil Lachio. All right. So, Mr. Lachio, first of all, this is Tony Rogers calling from Walmart Customer Support. Okay. This Tony. call regards to inform you that. There are two order plays under your name. First is PlayStation 5. Second is in Apple headphones, and the total amount is $990.45. So, did you make this purchase on past Friday, sir? No. That's why I called. But, Once sir, I saw this, is, I didn't order it. Yeah, but the thing is that. All right, but the thing is that, sir, there are two different shipping addresses on it. Okay. First one is in New York, and the address is 49 Arcadia Court, Albany, New York, 12205. Do you recognize this address? Albany? No, nah, Albany's like, I don't know, 100 miles away. All right, and the next one is 1245 is 16th Avenue, Houston, Texas, 76612. Do you recognize this address, sir? Houston, Houston. I don't know. I don't know anybody in Houston. I know somebody in Dallas. All right. Uh, all right. So help me Ewing. with your Patrick. Uh, so help me know. with. Oh, huh? All right, sir. Okay. Go ahead. So help me with your current address, sir, so I can one, go ahead and cancel Main the order Street, for you. One hundred Main Street, Moravia, New York, one three one one eight. Can you go slow, sir? One hundred straight. 100 Main Street, Moravia, New York, 13118. How do you spell Moranian? Moranian? It's Moravia. M-O-R-A-V-I-A. -A. Moravia. Oh, 100 Main Street, Moravia. After that? New York. New York. And where's the zip code? Same as it has been before, 13118. Didn't you write it down? One three one one eight. All right, sir. Okay. So yeah. first of all, hmm? have you ever lost or stolen your personal detail in your past, sir? Like your wallet, your driver's license, your social security card, or your state ID? Did you lost or stolen in your past? No, I didn't lost or stolen none of that. No. All right, sir. And when was the last time you used your Walmart account to order buy something, sir? My wa Walmart, I, I don't even have a Walmart account. That's why I don't know where they got the money from. So, Mr. Lashio, now let yeah. me explain you something over okay. here. As I can see in my system, on past Friday, there was a two Walmart account open under your name. Uh -oh. And your Walmart account was accessed from multiple locations, like uh, Ohio, Florida, New York, Texas, and California. But, Mr. Lesho, you need to understand that one individual person cannot operate from five different locations <coughs> at the same time. No, I don't think so. It is very so. suspicious yeah, for us. Well, you should have and, stopped it then, right? Yeah, you stopped I, it? That's, okay, yes, yes good. sir. But I also can see that there are 17 bank accounts oh. linked with that Walmart account 17. that should be open on past Friday. Under your name, such a Bank of America, U.S. Bank, TD Bank, PSC bank. bank, Chase Bank, Wells Fargo, and some couples of credit union. 
So in this case, Mr. Lashio, we suspect this might be a case of identification theft, uh, where your be. personal yeah. and banking traditional might have been compromised okay. with third yeah. person. Right. So do you suspect anyone who can do these fraudulent activities under your name, sir? Uh, gee. I can't think of anybody. Cross-eyed Mary, but she wouldn't do it. Uh, Aqualung wouldn't do it. Teacher wouldn't do it. No, I don't think of anybody. So, first of all, sir. All right. So, in simple language, someone has using your simple. personal information without your knowledge to making yeah, all this type of yeah, fraudulent it activities. It. it sounds it. Yeah. Yeah, so, Mr. Lacio, first of all, can you grab a pen and piece of a paper in your handy so you can note down my name and your case ID number, sir? Okay. Once you're ready, sir, let me know. I'm on the line. All right, Mr. Lacio? Okay, let me know. I'm ready. Yeah. First of all, you can note down my name. My first name is Tony. Tony. My last name is Rogers. Rogers. Should I spell it for you? No, I can spell R-O-G-E-R-S. Okay, Tony. Yeah. Okay, yes, sir. Tony. Okay. Now you can note down, uh -huh. now, all right, sir, note now you can note down your case ID number, case number which we received from the Office of Inspector General Department. Your Inspector case ID General. number is D like, uh, D, yeah, like D like a David, David. C, like, C yeah. like a California, California. number nine, nine. Number zero, zero, number six, six. number one, one. number five. five, again number five. five. Did you got it? I got it. Okay. Can you read back for me? Can you read back for me your case ID number, sir? DC906155. All right, sir. This is your case ID number. Okay. So, Mr. Lesho, now I will read the soft copy of your affidavit file which we received from the Office of Inspector General Department. How did I so get please it? please listen to me very closely. How did they get that? Sorry? I didn't understand. I will you let said. you know that only I'm trying to. So, sir, now I will read the soft copy of your affidavit file, My which affidavit. we received from the Office, yes, Office of Inspector General Department. So listen to me very closely okay. because we are on recorded line. Okay. All right? Yes. Yeah. So the investigation started when U.S. Customs and Border Protection Ooh. has found and seized one parcel which one parcel. was shaped under your name. It was shaped under After my name. After scanning the parcels, yes. After scanning the parcels, we found some illegal documents oh. and nine fake driver's license oh. issue under your name. Under after mine? scanning the parcels, yes sir, oh. after scanning the parcels, we found some illegal documents and nine fake driver's license oh. issue under your name. Driver's license. And all these parcels Might have been are shipping to the address is there are two different shipping addresses on it, sir. Okay. The first one is in New York, and the address is 49 <coughs> Arcadia Court, Albany, New York, no, 12205. Okay. Do you recognize? No, I don't recognize that. No, I don't know anybody in all. All right, sir. Well, and my last. Okay. All right. All right, sir. My last question is. <clears throat> Have you ever connect your cell phone, your laptop, or your computer to any public Wi-Fi, like uh, restaurants, mall, no, airlines, hospital? No, I don't connect my thing hospital. to anything. I don't connect my thing to anything. I don't go anywhere. I don't do that stuff. All right, sir. So first of all, why am I asking this question? Because public Wi-Fi are never secure. So anyone well, I don't gain use it. I don't, access, Why would I go anywhere else? I don't, I don't use that stuff. I'm 74. I don't have right, nothing sir, so to now, do with that stuff. I don't know anything about that stuff. I understand, sir. So now what I will do best for you, okay. I will go ahead and transfer yeah. this call to the OIG department, <coughs> the Office of Inspector General, Inspector the Department General. of the Social Security. Yes, 
okay. the office of inspector general okay. the department of the social security administration because they are only one who can remove your name from the situation because this is a matter about identification theft okay. and mr lecio i have already provided you your case id yeah, number I got the case am i right ID sir number yeah is that from the inspector general the yeah. case number okay cuz i want yes. to talk to him yes general. sir so you just need yeah okay. so you just need to verify this case id number okay. with them so they the can help you to remove your name from the situation and they will provide you some more information okay. about the situation good so till that time stay on a line for a moment yeah. and do not disconnect this okay, line no, I let won't. me go ahead I, I and connect this general. call with them okay. all right sir okay thank you yeah thank you for time and patience okay. hold a line for a moment sir okay. Thank you for holding the line. Your line has been connected to Office of Inspector General, the Department of Social Security Administration. Hi, this is Michelle. How can I help you? Well, I was supposed to talk to the general about uh, a case from Walmart. They connected me to you, and they said the general okay. would help me. Yes, so you were talking to an uh, Inspector General itself. Oh, Did you okay. got any case ID number sir? DC906155. Okay, I got that sir. Okay. Uh, first I want you to note down my name okay. and my federal badge ID oh, number badge. for verification. Okay. Go ahead. Yes sir. My first yeah, my first name first is, is Michelle. And then my C A G L L E. Okay. Right, last name is Anderson. Okay, Michelle, my bell. Okay. My yes, sir. My badge ID badge number ID. is a. Uh, okay. Yes, my badge ID, sir. It is three 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 five five six six A as an alpha A seven seven A as an alpha A one one okay. Right, sir. Okay. So this is my badge ID number. Okay, Michelle. I work as Inspector General at Social Security Administration, sir. Okay. And you can verify my badge ID number on the government website, okay. ssa.gov. Okay? ssa.gov? That is correct, sir. Okay. May I know, sir, what is your first and your last name? My, my first name is Phil. P-H-I-L. Okay. My last name is Lacio. L A T I O. Okay. You are from 100 South Main Street, Moravia, New York, 13118, correct? Y yes. Okay. So, Mr. Lacio, you just had a word uh, with an Walmart associate about Walmart. some Walmart, yeah, and going somehow I got connected identity. to you. I don't know how this all happened. I really don't understand. Okay, well, don't be confused, sir. Uh, they I have given you a case ID number. So, first, I will make you aware about this whole case file. Okay, so, yeah. I want you to listen to me very okay, attentively. Attentive. Do not interrupt I, me in I between. I will be very attentive. Okay, yes, go ahead. Thank you so much, sir. Once I'm okay. done, you can raise all your questions. Okay. So, Mr. Leshio, this investigation, it all started when we found a rented house under your name. The address is 49. Arcadia Court, Albany, New York, 12205. Right. And let me remind you something here. This is the uh, same shipping address used in Walmart for, That's what Walmart for placing said. Yeah. those fraudulent. Walmart said that. Yes, sir. So I do told, you. I told Walmart. Do you I recall know. renting? I never rented a house. I don't even. Albany. I, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm not from Albany. Okay. So you have oh. not rented any house in Albany, New York, right, no, Mr. Leishio? No, I have not. Okay. Well, sir, when this uh, same house in the uh, city of Albany was raided by oh. the New York State Rangers, they State recovered Rangers. many documentations related to different financial institutions such as m and Bank, Community Bank, First National Bank, Urban Community Credit Union, Alternative Federal Credit Union, there is Tompkins Community Bank, no, there is uh, 
PNC Bank. No. TD Bank. TD Bank. Then there is a TD. I said TD. Yeah, I used to then go to the City Bank. Uh, okay. Okay. Go ahead, sir. Well, I, I'm just, I was just saying, I used to go to so Titty Bank, but I use Bank of America now. Uh, Titty Bank, I got rid of. They overcharged yeah, they, me. They, they overcharged me. One, they, uh, they overcharged me on a lap dance at Titty Bank, so I went to Bank of America. Okay. Okay, well, uh, Mr. Mr. Lee Show, all these different banks that I'm talking about, sir, there are accounts opened under your name with all these organizations and we have found 20 such bank accounts along with 10 credit cards and 5 driver's license registered with your same identity from different states. Uh -oh. When we further investigated all this, yes. When okay. we further investigated all this, Mr. Leishio, okay. we came to know that more than $500,000 has been laundered under your name to all 000. these bank accounts to drug trafficking countries like Mexico, Mexico. and Colombia. Oh. So do, yeah, do you suspect anyone who can do all this fraud with you, Mr. Leishio? Did you say those were diver's licenses? There... There are five driver's license, 20 bank accounts, and uh, 10 credit cards that the government has found under your name. Diver's Yonin. licenses, but I don't know. He, he's got his own diver's license. No, I don't know of anybody. I can't think of so, anybody. So, Mr. Lashio, did you, huh. yeah, did you recently lost any of your personal belongings, nah. like cell phone, wallet, nah. your credit card, social security nah. card? I told, uh, no, okay. I told Walmart all well, this sir, stuff. Based, yeah. Oh, what? Uh, Okay, well, sir, based on a trail of evidence, trail. the District Courthouse of Albany, New York, has filed a case against your identity for money laundering and drug trafficking. So, in the eyes of law, you are already an culprit for the government. I'm All the law a enforcement agencies are. How would I get to be a culprit? I didn't do anything. Sir, let I, I understand. Let me complete, Mr. Lash. Okay, okay, complete. Okay, the, complete you know, the, all the. All okay. the law enforcement agencies are suspecting you primarily because uh, your identity is involved in, whole, in this whole fraud. But sir, when we checked your past background records, we came to know that you don't have any criminal report and you have been a law-abiding citizen for your whole life. Well, this is the only it, reason, yeah. sir. We are considering you... Yeah, we are considering you as a victim of identity yeah, theft okay. and we conducted this telephonic investigation so that we can record all your statements federally okay. on this call and we will pay this call recording in courthouse as a piece of electronic evidence okay. in your favor to prove that Mr. Phil Lashio, he is not trying to run away from this investigation. Nah. He is just trying to cooperate with the government right. so that we can catch the real culprits and take his name out of this case. Yes. Okay. We got nipped us in the bud. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, don't worry. Now, Mr. Leishio, considering the allegations passed against your identity right. for money laundering and drug trafficking, we have got an order from the courthouse to suspend your social security what? number what right away for next that? time period what? of 48 hours. How can you do that? Ma'am, uh, sorry, sorry, sir. I, I get I said, social security. How can you suspend it? Mr. L Mr. Leishio, let me complete, sir. Okay, complete. Let me complete, okay? Go it's not going to affect... It's not going to affect your social security well, that's benefits. Good. Sir. Okay, because okay. I'm 74 years of age, I can't. I gotta have money coming in. I I totally understand, sir. Okay. That you you are you are old. Okay, I'm old. You are a law-abiding right. citizen. It's not going to affect. Yeah, it's not going to affect your social security benefits, Mr. Lacio. But okay. once your social security number. It suspends today all your assets like bank accounts, credit cards, investments, properties that you have registered to your social security number. It's going to be all frozen and seized by the law enforcement agencies what? across whole of United States. The whole for a United States is taking time. my money? And you can't. 
Mr. Leishio, uh, uh, let me complete, sir. Okay, complete. Sir, at the moment, we don't know the actual assets. That belongs to you and not to the criminals who have stolen your information and has created more than 20 bank accounts, 10 credit cards and 5 driver's licenses. I only got one so bank account. So I will account. fill out an assets. Uh, yeah, I will yeah. fill out an assets verification okay. form for you, sir. I will verify the assets that you hold under your possession one okay. by one, one without by asking one. you for any of your personal information okay. like your account numbers, routing numbers, card numbers or uh, any passwords. We just need to verify the basic details of your assets so that we can safeguard your true belongings and okay, we will put yeah. a block on the remaining fraudulent accounts. Yeah, just fraudulent block the fraud assets ones. That is open block by the, the fraud ones, not mine. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's correct. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to verify your assets one by one now. We are recording all your statements and the assets that you are going to verify on this recorded call, the we'll government go. is going to secure only those assets for you. Play so I want you to be very honest okay. on this call. All right, go ahead. That is correct. That is correct. Sir. My first question to you, the house where you currently live, live in, in 100 South Main Street, do you own that house or yes. you rent it under your name? Sir? I own it. Do you live alone? You live with your family in this property? I live alone. Do you own a car under your name? Yes. And uh, I believe you have a valid driver's license from state of New York itself? Yes. Do you have any retirement accounts like 401k, IRA or any 403b? No. Do you have any investments in stocks, bonds, money market? No. We have found 20 bank accounts under your name, sir, out of which you said you only bank with Bank of America, right? Right, right. Not Titty Bank. Do you bank with... Okay. Do you bank with any credit unions? No. Okay. Now, just make sure, sir, do not disclose any of your account numbers, routing numbers, card no, numbers on this recorded no, call. AARP said you never should do that, okay. so I'm not going to... Uh, that's true. That's true, sir. So okay. what type of account do you have with Bank of America? Checking, savings, business, CD account? Checking and savings. Yes. Okay. Do you have a debit card, debit card also? Yes. Okay. Is this checkings or savings a joint account with anyone? No. Just me. Okay, sir. Just you. Okay. What is the approximate balance you hold in your checkings and savings account with Bank of America? Approximate balance in each of the accounts? Oh, no. It's probably 4500 in my checking and probably okay. 8000 in my savings because I'm trying to save up for a new car because mine's not running right. Okay. I got it, sir. Uh, now... Mr. Leshio, do you have any of the bank accounts or I have verified all your bank accounts? Do I what? Sir, do you have any more uh, bank accounts? No. No, right? Okay. Now, we, uh, how many credit cards do you have in total registered well, under your one, name? Just one. Bank of America. Just, just one. Bank of America. Is it a Visa or it's a Master? Visa. Okay, sir. I got that. Now, is this number your cell phone number that ends with 0622? Yeah, that's my cell. All right, sir. Now, lastly, I want you to verify me the last four digits of your social security number. Just make sure, sir, you only have to verify me the last four digits on this recorded call. 1463. 1463. Okay, I got that. Okay. Now, Mr. Leishio, I have verified all your assets. Okay. Let me inform you a very important government protocol, sir, okay. that you have to follow until your name is under this investigation. So you have to follow the privacy protocol of 1974. 1974. So this government protocol states that you are... <clears throat> that is correct, sir. Yeah. 70s yeah, were kind of protocol, a Yeah, this privacy protocol, it states... Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so sir, this protocol, it states that you are not allowed to disclose any of this investigation information with any third person, including your friends and your family members, okay, because I everyone around them. you is the suspect for the government. Oh, okay.
Okay. We don't want a real culprit to get alerted no. about this investigation going on. I know. That person can try to run away from us, sir. Uh, we don't want so, to. Okay. Yeah, so just make sure don't. Okay. Yeah, don't uh, give out don't this information okay, with I anyone won't. around you. Yes. I won't. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Okay. Now, Mr. Lashio, you can Is make a it? note. Yeah, you can make a note of our uh, our callback number, the direct line number to our office. So, okay. are you ready with a pen and paper handy, sir? Yeah, yeah I still got it right here. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Just give me a quick moment, sir. Yeah, give me a moment, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Are you ready with a pen and paper now? Hello? <coughs> Hello? Yes. Okay, sir. Note down the number, sir. Okay. Yes. The number is 202. 202. Okay. 703. 703. 08. 08. 79. 79. Okay. okay. The number is 202. Yeah, I know. 703. Oh yeah. eight seven nine. Yeah, you I got wrote it? it down. Yeah. Okay, now Mr. Lashio, I have verified all your assets. I have to submit this assets verification form to the courthouse the and the treasury okay. department uh, with a yeah with a clear picture of your driver's license as a proof of your identity attached with this form. So I want you to send me a clear picture of your driver's license through uh, text I message. At the number that I gave you. I don't know how to do that. So, do, oh, no problem, sir. If you don't know, I can guide you. What type of a cell phone do you have, sir? Is it an Android or it's an iPhone? It's a flip phone. I don't even know what to do. All I can do is talk on it. It's not a iPhone. Oh, it's or, a flip phone? Yeah, oh, okay, it's no not problem. one of them no fancy problem. ones. Oh, okay, no problem. If you have a flip phone, no issues then. Do you have any? Do you have a computer or a laptop? I got a computer. You got a computer. Okay, yes. no problem. So, Mr. Lashio, now, no problem, sir. I will just inform the government the that. Government. Uh, okay. Uh, so, do you know how to mail a picture? No. Do you know how to I mail a picture? I'm 74. I through don't know. email? No, I don't know how to do none of that. Okay, no issues, sir. I will just inform the. Uh, I will just inform the. Uh, courthouse people the courthouse. that uh, yeah, you don't have a you know device. I tell them I'm old. I don't know how to yeah. do none of this stuff. That, no problem, sir. Now, when was the last time you visited Bank of America? Oh, geez, it's been a long time. Last month. It was last, last month. Last month. Okay, no problem. And you. St okay. All right, sir. So. Just give me a moment. Uh, I'm going to get the approval from the government to safeguard all your assets. Yeah, get that. Okay, sir. So yeah. be on hold for a minute or okay. two. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Be on hold. Thank oh, you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Right. Okay, are you still connected, Mr. Leshio? Yes, I am. Thank you for holding the line, sir. So I have submitted all your information to the courthouse. The courthouse, They have okay. given us an approval to safeguard. Yeah, they have given us approval okay. to safeguard all your assets, sir. Okay, good. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is, yeah, I will be disconnecting this uh, three-way conference call. And um, I'm going to uh, give you a call back right away from our direct line number. That is uh, the 202 number that I gave you, sir. Okay. So, from that same number, I will be calling you right away. Come, you have to answer the call, sir. How come we can't do it right now? Do you see any incoming call on your cell phone? Yes. You can you can hang up this call, sir, and you can answer the call from 202. Hello? Hello? Yes, oh. Mr. Leishu, can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can. Is this Michelle? My yes, bell? sir. This is Michelle itself. Okay. Yes. So, uh, now, Mr. Leishu, um, I will be transferring this call to the higher authority. Who's that? To one of the senior federal officers. Okay. Sorry? Who's the higher authority? Yes. Yes, yes. Um, I, sir, I'm going to transfer this call to one of the senior federal officers who is working onto your case file. This officer has been appointed by the Treasury Department and the courthouse to In safeguard courthouse, all your too. assets and okay. your identity. Okay. Okay. 
So basically, sir, this officer is going to guide you with all the uh, necessary steps and procedures that you have to complete in order to protect all the money that you I'm are gonna, holding in I'm, your I'm just bank gonna, account. I'm just going to go down to the bank and take all my money out. That'll take care of everything. Uh, yes, I understand, sir. But this okay. officer, as I said, you he is going to he is going to give you all the instructions that you have to follow in order to uh, safeguard all your money and your identity. Okay. Okay. All right, Mr. Lacio. So just give me a quick moment. Do not hang up the call, sir. Okay. Okay. Let me connect you to them. Thank you. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thanks for holding the line. Your line has been transferred to the senior officer with the Social Security Administration. This is Officer Eric Kressman. May I have your first name and your last name, please? My first name is Phil, P-H-I-L. Last name Lacio, L-A-T-I-O. All right, Mr. Phil Lacio, how are you doing today, sir? Well, How's your day today? Well, it's not going good because I started with Walmart, <laughs> then I talked to Michelle, now I'm talking to you. <laughs> I understand. I'm really sorry for that, okay? okay? Our intentions are not to spoil your day or spoil your mood, okay? okay. I'm just doing my part of job for helping you, okay? okay? So before we proceed, can you grab a pen and a piece of paper? Yeah, I already got you? one from Michelle. Go ahead. Now, I would like you to make a note of my name. Yes. My first name is Eric with the C E R I C Eric. Hello? E R I C. Okay, Eric. And my last name is Cressman. K R E S S M A N. Cressman. You got it? Yes. Okay. Now I would like you to make a note of my federal badge ID number, oh, number, number. which okay. is A F N Apple. A. 2713. 2713. A okay. as an apple, 4-1. Oh. You got it? 4-1, yes. Okay, now I believe this is your cell phone. It's a smartphone? No, you that's have? what I told Michelle. She wanted me to send a picture of my license. I can't do that. It's a flip phone. Okay, it's a flip phone, right? So you yeah. cannot... I can't do anything. Any all I can do is talk on it. That's all I need it for. I don't need all that other thing. I'm 74. I don't need all that stuff to transfer pictures and texts, and I don't know how to do that. Okay, no problem, Mr. Phillip. Now, as you know that, sir, my associate explained to you each and every detail about yes. your case file. Right. Running under your name, for sure. So regarding that, do you have a doubt on anyone? Do you suspect on anyone who could possibly use your information? Well, like I who told the other lady, yeah, I, I really don't know anybody that would be able to do this. And have you ever lost your wallet? No, I told everybody else. No, no. Okay, now as you know that the state courthouse has decided to get your social security number suspended yeah, right away from your Yeah, that's what Michelle name. said. I don't want that. So I'm going to go down to the bank and get my money right now. Uh, your bank is not, might be open, okay? Yeah, they're open. Well, which bank you bank with? Bank of America. So Bank of America is still open? Yeah. Well, Are you sure about it? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir, I'm here. Okay. What are we doing here? I got to get this over with, whatever we're doing. No, sir. You don't need to do it anything, okay? Okay. Right now, if we are going to suspend your social security number, that means whatever the information is linked with your social security number, it will be freeze and leased by the law enforcement agencies across the whole of the United States. I don't want States it freeze. For the That's the thing. What? I don't want it frozen. <laughs> And it's not going to be frozen as you will cooperate with me, as you will follow my instructions. Okay. Nothing is going to be pulled. Nothing is going to be okay. suspended. Okay. So right now, as you know that, it's like almost 5.30, right? Yes. It's quarter to six. Yes, it's quarter of the six. Okay. Quarter of the six. So as you know that, 
Yes, it's like a quarter of the state. Right. So as you know that the state house is closed, everything is closed. Everything. Okay. So, so I got till tomorrow, yes, right, so to do get everything done before they yes. suspend it. Yes. And okay. I'll let you know, and I'll guide you step by step on this recorded line. Okay. Okay. So tomorrow, what could be the best time to get in touch with you in the morning? Uh, in the morning, I got to go to a funeral. So at what time you want me to contact you? Oh, let's get it done now. Can't we do it now? Oh, no, sir. We cannot do it anything now. Well, I got to go to a funeral at mm -hmm. 10. So like you want... At what time you will be free from the front row? Well, probably not till after 1 o'clock. So you want me to give you a call at 1.30? Uh, let me think. Um, yeah, that would probably be all right. That would be fine if I call you at 1.30? Nah, I don't want to do this what? anymore. Why is that? Because it's a scam, you scamming bastard. What do you think? What do you think? I, why I don't want to do it? I fucked with you guys long enough. Fucking idiot. Well, you fucker. The party you are trying to reach is unavailable. Please leave a message and someone will return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. Pick up the phone, you piece of shit. You scamming bastard. That's all, folks.